With the advancement of the Linux installers on Ubuntu and various other distributions, it's very easy now to do a dual boot system of Windows and Linux on the same machine. The problem is how do you access those files on the Linux partition from Windows? I'm going to show you how in this tutorial. So go ahead and open up your favorite browser and just go to Google. And then what you want to do is type in ext2 read. Go ahead and type that in, type enter, and then just hit on the first link that should take you to the SourceForge download page. Say download in the title. Once you get in there, just go ahead and click on the big green download now button. And we're just going to wait for that. Uh, you can see it downloading in the, in the bar at the bottom there. Once it's done, just open up the archive. It's going to be a zip file. Just extract it wherever you want. In this case, we're just going to put it in the temp directory. So just extract it out. And then once you're in there, to run this, you need to right click on it and run as administrator if you're in Windows 7. You can't run this as a normal user. Instead of typing that, let's go into the properties, go to compatibility, and select to run the program as an administrator. That'll run it every time as the administrator and you can just double click on it from now on. So click that box, click OK, and then double click on ext to explore. Once this loads up, it's going to go out and try to find your Linux partitions. And there we go. It has our, my dev SDA5. You double click on that. It shows you your directory tree, or your folder tree. And then you can just uh, navigate through your folders as normal. Um, you can go into your home folder. You can go into lib, any, pretty much anywhere. Even sys and root and you know your temp folder. Here we are in root. You can view all these files. If you want to copy any to your hard drive, you just right click on it, hit save, select your destination. We'll just dump it on the uh, desktop here. Go ahead and hit save. Or you can specify a name if you like. If you hit save, it's going to use the same name as the Linux partition. Then we can go ahead and open this file up and look at the contents. This is just a text file. Um, of course, Windows doesn't know how to deal with this, so let's just go ahead and, and force it to open up in Notepad here. Since there's no extension, Windows doesn't know how to deal with it. So we'll select Notepad, and there you go. That's the contents of the file, and um, that's about all there is to it. In a little while, we'll have another tutorial on how to access your Windows files from the Linux partition, but for right now, that's all there is to uh, accessing your Linux files from the Windows partition. For more tutorials and uh, reviews and just informational videos, please visit us at learnfilms.com and feel free to drop us any suggestions on videos. Thanks a lot.